So we're caught up in drama Everybody's talking, everybody's talking We're caught up in problem Everybody's talking, everybody's talking Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Chris and it is a Thursday night and nothing better to do than show you guys another build review. Tonight we're going to look at the Gentech build and this is going to be a pretty interesting build. I uh, hope you guys will enjoy it. I just kind of happened to come across it on some of the top trending Cody 17.3 Krypton builds. So we're going to do a review on it and then I'm going to show you how to download it. So we've got all that coming here in a little bit. Uh, once again, before we begin, we're going to go ahead and give a quick shout out to all you guys that are subscribing. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to make sure you're leaving comments and liking the videos as well. And if you haven't done so, click on the bell. That way you guys are notified of any new videos that I put out. For those of you that have not subscribed, please click on the link below. Hit subscribe for me. Got a lot of great content. Uh, in the next probably video or two, I'm going to do a review uh, and test out the new Lilbox Q2 2017 version. Uh, they were gracious enough to send me a copy of it, and I'm going to actually do a review on it and let you guys know what it's all about. So if you're guys interested in maybe purchasing a new streaming box, well, we're going to test that out and see if that is worthy of someone's purchase so let's go ahead and get started guys we're just going to kind of go through the review first and then once we're down uh, done we'll go ahead and uh, show you guys how to download it so as you can see we've got movies tv shows box sets kids live tv tv guides 3 p.m kickoff sports pay-per-view soap catch-up music documentaries, gaming zone, favorites, top add-ons, video add-ons, program add-ons, you got the Gentech Wizard, and then that's the version QBuild V1.3.3, that's Sky QBuild. And then you've got your settings, and then you can also quit from this part of the menu. All right, going back up to movies, if you click to the right, you've got all your movie widgets there, which is pretty cool. I love the layout of this. shows the fan art really well. And you've also got Specto in theaters, and you've got Exodus as well. So two great add-ons that are there. I usually use Exodus quite a bit. So there you go, guys. You've got two great add-ons right at your fingertips there. All right. If you go to the left or hit backspace, go down to TV shows. It uses Zen Networks. All right. So you can actually look through Zen Populars. And there's NBC, Fox. You got CW, A&E, ABC Family, Animal Planet, so on and so forth. So you got quite a bit of add-ons there for networks. And then you've got your box sets. So you got quite a few box sets there. There's Hannibal, Harry Potter. Harry Potter is one of my favorites. Go ahead and click Enter. We'll show you what it does. There's all the the movies. And that's brought to you by Wolfpack. So check that out. See, I'm a big fan of the fan art. Love it. All right, so you go ahead and hit back, and you can go in any of these other ones if you want. You know, we'll go through Kids. You can use any of the widgets to pull them up. And that is using Zen as well. Now, 
Now, when I was actually downloading this uh, build, the one thing that I noticed more than anything was it uh, tended to run a little slow when when you were initially downloading the skins and all the initial stuff. Um, so that's that was my only reservation. Uh, so just kind of be aware of that. I mean, it does take a long time to actually download the widgets uh, and everything involved with with the build. I mean, it's a great looking build. There you go. You can pull up any of those sources there to watch the movie. So just kind of keep that in mind, guys. I mean, but it is a very attractive build, how they've got the fan art taking up the whole, pretty much the whole screen there. I like that. So you just hit back, and then you can go down your live TV. Look at here, guys. You got all kinds of live TV here. So you got plenty of choices there. You hit Backspace TV Guides. Let's go ahead and click Enter there. And let's go to the main TV guide. You also have Sports Guide and a Movie Guide as well. This is brought to you by iView. So if you can bear with me for 12 seconds now. It's a very attractive build. I definitely like the build. I just, I'm not so sure about you know the the slowness of it. It's it's a little bit slow. So here's here's your guide there for all your TV channels. So as you can see, you got plenty of channels there. You can also exit the guide. You can do it by categories, schedule, tools, or stop stream. So we're going to go ahead and exit the guide. And we're going to go down to 3 p.m. kickoff. Go ahead and click enter. You've got live premium league, bulldog streams, money sports, NJM, Bob Sports, Halo Sports, Sports 365 Live, Castaway, Sports Devil. Those are my two favorites right there click on sports devil uh, it's usually the main one that I actually am looking at and then normally I will go into LS Hunter and you can pull up live or you can search for a specific type of sport all right so usually does pretty good there And you also have sports. If you go into sports there, you got Money Sports, Mavericks, Supremacy, DC Sports, Phoenix, Project M, Goodfellas. So pretty good add-ons there for sports. You also have your pay-per-views. You got your Batman Spring, Dim Sports, from Hot.com, First Row Sports. That's usually uh, one of the ones that I'll use uh, to look at my pay-per-view events. And you can actually go in and uh, pull up UFC fights and all kinds of different things there. We can go ahead and look at that. So you can go into fighting. And look at there. Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor money fight. All right. So no listing just yet on that, but that will be soon. Can't wait to see it but you can also pull up any other sports this way too so that's pretty awesome uh, you got soap catch up there's all kinds of different things for caught on camera for catchphrase celebratability so you got some different things here for you guys okay you also have music so you've got live, you've got the U.S. weekly top 20 chart. I'm not a big fan of how that whites that out because you can't really see the, see the, uh, the actual menu there. But you've got a lot of different MP3s on demand. You've got a lot of different things there. Documentaries. If you click on documentaries, 
You've got all these right here. Scroll down, you got gaming zone. So you guys that are good gamers or loved games, there's all kinds of different ROMs here, guys. You got the NSE ROM pack, the NS, uh, the Super Nintendo ROM pack, N64 ROM pack, Genesis, Sega Genesis, Game Boy, Atari Room, Atari 7800. So there's some good good choices there, guys, for the game packs. You can add to your favorites, and you got your top add-ons here. Big bag of tricks. TV guide, today's football, latest episode, recent movies. Okay. 24-7 documentaries, kids, live TV. So this all one gives you quite a bit of options there as well. And then you've got your video add-ons, guys. So you can kind of take it down, look down through there and see all the different video ads or add-ons that you have. So you've got a lot of good stuff there, a lot of good add-ons that are within the build. Some of the top of the line ones. And same thing with programs or program add-ons. You've got a lot of good program add-ons that you can use there as well. And then you've got the Gentech Wizard. So if you want to do a fresh start, you would just go into Builds. Pick you one out, and then if you remember from the beginning, what I was telling you, instead of doing standard install now, you would do the fresh install since you already have a build on there. So that gives you the ability to change your build if you don't like this one. Okay, so we're going to go out of that. You just backspace to the main menu, and then you've got your version, your settings. And then you can quit. If you go into settings, you got your add-on installer there and your file manager. Those are back-to-back -back right there, so that's cool. So if there's anything you want to add, you just go to file manager, and then you can go into your add-on installer, and then you can there you go. Adult add-ons. So some different things there for you guys all right and then you can quit so and it takes you back to the main menu so thank you guys for watching the review if you'll stay tuned I'm actually gonna take you into one of my Cody forks or SPMC forks actually and I will show you guys how to download it so let's go ahead and do that Okay, if you did watch my video on the SPMC uh, Fire TV Guru <clears throat> uh, fork, uh, this is what initially loads. You can just go to System, Interface, scroll over to Skin, click Enter, go to Estuary, click Enter, and then just hit Yes, and then basically you've got the look of the Cody 17.3 Krypton. All right, so from here, what we want to do is we want to go up to this gearbox, go ahead and click enter, scroll down to system settings, then down to add-ons, go ahead and click to the right, and it is already on for you. That's the wonderful thing about the forks. Then scroll down to file manager, add source, go ahead and click enter, and then type this URL just exactly like I type it. It's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash gen hyphen tech let me make sure I'm over far enough there tech dot co forward slash gen tech whiz okay so you have to type it in just like that, hit OK. And then you've already got your name, you wanna go ahead and hit OK again. Go ahead and backspace, backspace, scroll down to add-ons. 
Go ahead and click enter. Uh, once again, it's getting a little trigger happy there. Go ahead and click add-ons and then scroll up to the install box. Go ahead and click enter. And then scroll down to install from zip file. Go ahead and click enter. Then look for the name that you named it. Uh, in this case, I just kept it as GenTechWiz. Go ahead and hit enter. And then I know you automatically want to go to builds, but you don't want to do that. Go to new repo for genetic wizard or GenTech wizard. Once you do that, then go ahead and scroll down, click enter. Okay, you're going to wait for the add on installed icon right there. Perfect timing. All right, once that's there, go up to install from repository. Go ahead and click enter. Then GenTech repository. Then program add ons. Then down to GenTech wizard. And go ahead and install it, guys. You'll see that it's downloading there. Add on installed. All right. So then you can click enter from there. Well, actually, the, the box will pop up. Just hit dismiss. And then from here, you can hit continue if you want. I just hit ignore. And then that'll take us back to the GenTech wizard. Go ahead and click enter. And then scroll over and open it. Okay. Then you want to scroll down to you see the GenTech builds. Go ahead and click enter. Okay. And then you're looking for the one that says Q build version 1.3.3. You want to go ahead and click enter. Then scroll down and make sure you do standard install. So just like I said a little bit earlier when you're in the build, if you have the build, you do a fresh install. That way it deletes it and then puts a fresh new build on there for you. Uh, if you have fresh Kodi 17.3, just go ahead and click standard install. Okay. Now I'm not going to do this. I've already showed you pretty much uh, the build. And the only thing you need to do from here is hit standard install. It's going to download it for you. And then it's going to extract the files. And then it's going to tell you that you need to force close Kodi. And just hit OK or force close, clo or force close Kodi. Once you do that, it'll take you back to the main menu. Then you open up Kodi. And keep in mind, it is a little bit of a lengthy wait for the skins to download. Okay, so don't go scrolling through because it's going to get uh, really ugly if you do. I tried to do that and, and it, I was just all over the place. So just kind of give it a few minutes, maybe five, six, seven minutes. Let it do its thing. And then uh, and then once the widgets pop up and show you the the um, Exodus widgets and the Specto widgets, then you know you'll be in good shape. So hope you like this build, guys. Uh, I liked it pretty good, not not too bad. So go ahead and check it out, uh, download it, let me know what you think, and I appreciate you watching. And I will look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. So thank you very much. You have a wonderful night.